I'm going to show you how I took my legs from this to this. Yikes, my before pictures are pretty bad. I almost don't want to show them, but that's the only way that I can show you these afters and show you what a big difference it makes if you have this problem. Now, leg veins are not just a cosmetic issue. They can be a medical issue as well. In many cases, insurance covers evaluation and treatment when a patient has symptoms. Pain in the legs and ankles, discoloration, bulging veins, throbbing, heaviness, swelling, restless legs, night cramps can all be symptoms of venous disease. So I took my veiny legs to see Dr. Christopher Pittman in Tampa. He's an interventional radiologist and the medical director at Vein 911. Basically, uh, vein disease is all about a good ultrasound exam, the way it's performed and the way it's interpreted and then an endovascular procedure. All the veins under the skin are expendable. The deep veins you don't want to mess around with, right. um, but the veins under the skin are expendable. Okay, so if you cut so, those off, so we get not rid of them. We would laser off this large vein, or cut off the leak in the attic, and then we would get rid of this stuff with little chemical injections of foam. It's some of the so the way you do it is permanent then? It's permanent, and there aren't any recurrences. Not when I do it. That's, not that I'm that's aware That's big. Of. It's real big, and, and the main secret, we have lots of secret sauces, but the main one is the foam technology. Now, what's the difference is it takes skill with this machine um, that I'm trained to do as a radiologist and interventional radiologist. I estimate half of people getting treated today are undertreated because they don't get foam sclerotherapy. In most places, most surgical places, yeah, they'll get rid of the leak, and a lot of people just say, see you later, or... They would make little stab incisions, remove this, and leave the iceberg behind. Mm -hmm. And then next year, two years, three years, still got your it. symptoms never went away. They came back. What you see in the skin is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Most of the problem veins are hiding under the skin and are only visible with ultrasound. Ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy can eliminate these veins, which are feeding the surface veins. Dr. Pittman uses a three-pronged approach with an interesting pine tree analogy. First, he treats the main veins with thermal ablation, the trunk of the tree. Then he treats the veins below the surface with ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy, the branches of the tree. And then he treats the surface veins with visual sclerotherapy, the pine needles. If you don't get all three, the tree will grow back. And I've had so many women tell me that their veins came back after they had been treated, probably because their doctors didn't give them that ultrasound-guided sclerotherapy to get those veins that aren't visible on the surface. Because those are the veins that are nourishing those surface veins. And the back are doing the work. That's one of the worst things. Uh, yeah. This is the little tube that we're going to put in the vein. And then we're going to put, here's the little laser that we're going to put inside that tube. This is the same technique as they would use to do a heart catheterization, any kind of catheterization in the body. It's the same technique. It's a tiny needle, a little wire, and a little tube over the wire. It's the same old technique. And right now we have the laser inside the vein. Um, and then we're putting a cylinder of fluid around the vein. It's shining a nice ET red right there. <laughs> I want to point out that I was awake during the entire procedure and I felt absolutely no pain. As the IV is pulled out of the vein, the laser on the tip cauterizes the vein and closes it off. Then you'll go back for your ultrasound guided sclerotherapy and then you'll get your surface sclerotherapy to get rid of all the rest of the veins. And this part is kind of fun because you can see the foam going into the vein so you can see which veins are going to disappear and be absorbed by the body. And there is no pain to this at all. That needle is very thin like a hair so you really do not feel a thing. Deeper underneath. Now these are going horizontally. That's weird, isn't it? 
<laughs> I actually had striped veins on my legs running horizontally. I was so glad to get rid of those. It takes several months before all of the veins are absorbed by the body and actually disappear, but it happens very gradually and very naturally, and you'll be very amazed at how your legs turn out. I even notice a difference in the skin texture of my legs. Maybe that's from the improved circulation. So once again, here's the before of the front of the legs, and here is the after. Incredible difference. And here's that varicose vein on the back of the left knee. And here it is, totally gone. A lot of my discoloration and blotchiness went away as well after my veins were treated. Particularly that dark discoloration and staining that women get around the ankles as they get a little older. That's all gone now. I like to think of fixing the veins in our legs as a way of remaining fit because if these veins aren't working properly they're not bringing blood back up to the heart the way they're supposed to and we want to remain active we want to remain fit we want to remain mobile as we get older we don't want to end up with swollen legs swollen ankles pain in our legs things that are going to slow us down and things that are going to take away our mobility so it's very important to fix your leg veins and to get everything working properly so that you can stay out there and be active and be fit. Mm -hmm.